elemento muy importante, relevante para el tiempo que estamos viviendo. So we invite you to pick up your Bible and to join us as we study together. Así que les invitamos a tomar sus Biblias y unirse a nosotros para nuestro estudio. Good evening, Pastor Fight. Good evening and welcome to everyone. Buenas noches y una bienvenida también para todos. Pastor, will you begin with prayer? Yes. Heavenly Father, as we step out again in faith. Padre celestial, ahora que estamos comenzando nuevamente por fe. We acknowledge our dependence upon you. Reconocemos nuestra dependencia de ti. Please bless us with your presence. Por favor, bendícenos con tu presencia. And enlighten us with your spirit. E ilumínanos con tu espíritu. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Es nuestra oración, nuestra petición, en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. The We've, time is yours, Pastor. Uh, we have titled this one, Home Stretch. Bueno, hemos titulado esta presentación, La Recta Final. Now, we read many things in Matthew chapter 24. Ahora, nosotros leemos muchas cosas en Mateo 24. About where we are standing in the stream of time. Sobre dónde estamos en el correr del tiempo. And we have, to, we have to find out exactly where we are in the stream of time. Y nosotros debemos hallar dónde estamos, dónde nos encontramos en ese correr de tiempo. Now, many people say, oh, no, all of these things have been before. There is no definite uh, clue as to where we are right now. Y hay personas que dicen, bueno, todas estas cosas han acontecido en el pasado y realmente no tienen ni idea de dónde nos encontramos. But as it says here, what is the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Pero tal como vemos aquí, ellos preguntaban, ¿cuándo serán estas cosas y qué señal habrá de tu venida y del fin del mundo? Please note that it says the end of the world. The new translations sometimes say the end of the age. That is not correct. It's the end of the world. Ahora, fíjese que en algunas traducciones dice el fin del siglo. Sin embargo, esto no es correcto. Debería leerse el, la, de tu venida y del fin del mundo. See, there are many factors that must fall into place before we can say this is the end of time. Y hay muchos factores que nosotros debemos considerar para que podamos decir, este es el tiempo del fin. And I've listed some here. Let's have a look at them. The physical environmental signs need, need to be universal. Y aquí yo listé algunas de ellas. Por ejemplo, las señales en el ambiente físico deben alcanzar aplicación universal. So people say, all right, there have always been earthquakes, there have always been famines, you can't use this as a sign. Y hay personas que dicen, bueno, pero siempre ha habido terremotos, siempre ha habido eh, problemas. Entonces usted no puede utilizar esto como una señal del tiempo. But in, in biblical prophecy, we move from type to anti-type. We go from local to universal. Pero dentro de la profecía bíblica, nosotros nos movemos de tipo a antitipo, de lo local a lo universal. The second sign is one of moral decay on a universal scale. La segunda señal es un decaimiento moral a, también a una escala universal. In other words, as it was in the days of Noah, and you read the descriptions in the Bible, as it was in the days of Lot, you read the descriptions in the Bible. Tal como nosotros vemos, eh, así como eran los días de Noé, y usted lee esa descripción en la Biblia. Tal como lo fue en los días de Lot, y usted lee esa descripción en la Biblia. There must be ethnic clashes which are commonplace, universal. También debe haber conflictos étnicos que deben ser comunes, también a escala universal. 
Very important, the political prophetic picture must be complete. El otro punto muy importante es que el cuadro profético político debe cumplirse. The religious prophetic picture must also be complete. También el cuadro profético religioso debe llegar a cumplimiento. And then finally, the legislation associated with buying and selling and the mark of the beast must be in place. Y finalmente, la legislación que está asociada con la compra y la venta y con la implementación de la marca de la bestia debe también estar en lugar. So when all of these are in place at the same time, so cuando todas estas categorías están en lugar o están implementadas al mismo tiempo, then we know where we are in the stream of time. Entonces nosotros vamos a saber dónde nos encontramos con respecto al tiempo. And it is impossible for all of these to come together unless there is a true prophecy which has a divine origin. Y todo esto para que pueda converger eh, de manera perfecta es imposible que ocurra a menos que haya una profecía bíblica de origen divino. So if we look at the physical environmental signs that we read in Matthew 24, Así que si nosotros vemos las señales del ambiente físico de las cuales nosotros leemos en Mateo 24, then we can know that deception will be very prominent. Allí vamos a encontrar que el engaño va a ser prominente. There will be false Christs. Va a haber falsos cristos. False messiahs, in other words. En otras palabras, falsos mesías. There will be wars, there will be rumors of wars. Va a haber guerras, va a haber rumores de guerra. There will be nation against nation, ethnic group against ethnic group. Se va a levantar nación contra nación, un grupo étnico contra otro grupo étnico. Famines, pestilences, earthquakes. Va a haber hambrunas, pestilencias, terremotos. But that's just one aspect. All the other aspects must also be there at the same time. Pero esto es solamente un aspecto. Todos los otros aspectos deben estar allí presentes al mismo tiempo. So you cannot say there have always been false Christs, there's always been earthquakes, there's always been famines. Así que usted no puede decir, bueno, siempre han existido falsos cristos, siempre hay terremotos, siempre hay hambrunas. This is just one of the criteria. The others, if they are added to it, then you know that you are at the close of time. ¿Por qué? Porque esta es solamente un criterio. Pero cuando ya usted tiene la confluencia de otros criterios, entonces sabrá que nos encontramos en el tiempo del fin. Now, are there false messiahs in the world today? Ahora, ¿será que hay falsos mesías en el mundo hoy? Well, here is an article from Religious News Services. The Messiah of the Second Coming has come for Easter 2021. Bueno, aquí tenemos un <coughs> artículo de Religious News <coughs> Service. Y ellos dicen, el Mesías de la Segunda Venida ha llegado para la Pascua del 2021. Here's another one. The Messiah's name will soon be released. An article in Israel Today. Aquí tenemos otro artículo extraído de Israel Today, donde se nos dice que el nombre del Mesías será revelado pronto. Here's another one where it states that the rabbi has already been holding meetings with the Messiah. Aquí tenemos otro donde se nos dice que ya que este rabino ya está manteniendo reuniones con el Mesías. Now, how do we know that we're not dealing with the true Messiah here? Ahora, ¿cómo nosotros sabemos que no estamos lidiando con el verdadero Mesías aquí? Because the Bible clearly says that when Jesus comes again, it will be visible from the east to the west. Porque la Biblia claramente nos indica que cuando Jesús venga nuevamente, él va a ser claramente visible desde el oriente al oeste. 
It clearly says that he will not come down to this earth, but that the redeemed will meet him in the sky. Dice también que cuando Jesús llegue a la tierra, él no va a estar aquí, sino que los redimidos se encontrarán con él en el cielo. So we know that this is not the biblical Messiah that we are waiting for. Así que nosotros sabemos que este no es el Mesías bíblico el cual nosotros estamos esperando. What about wars and rumors of wars? Ahora, ¿qué tal eh, guerras y rumores de guerras? Here's an article in Al Jazeera. Is the war in Ukraine ushering a new world order? Aquí tenemos un artículo de la agencia Al Jazeera. ¿Está la guerra en Ucrania marcando el inicio de un nuevo orden mundial? Is this a turning point in human history? ¿Será que este es un punto de retorno en la historia de la humanidad? We can ask ourselves the war about this war. Is this real or is this planned? Ahora, nosotros nos podemos preguntar sobre esta guerra. ¿Es algo real o es algo planeado? Actually, it doesn't matter. Actualmente, no importa. It's the outcome that matters. Lo que importa es el resultado. Humanity must have one mind and they must be herded into a particular direction. La humanidad debe tener una sola mente y ellos deben ser llevados como manada a una misma dirección. That's why the Bible speaks about wars and rumors of wars. Are they real or are they just a rumor? Y es por eso que la Biblia habla de guerras, pero habla también de rumores de guerra. ¿Será que son reales? So, whether it is a rumor or whether it is real, it doesn't really matter. The fact is that it's going to produce a global food crisis. Ahora, si es algo real o si es un rumor, realmente esto no es lo que importa. Lo que importa es el resultado y esta guerra va a producir una crisis mundial en so alimentos. The, so, there will be famine universally. Va a haber una hambruna universal. And we can see this. The supply lines are down. The infrastructure is being destroyed. Crops are disappearing. Y nosotros podemos ver esto. Estamos viendo cómo las cadenas de suministro están siendo eh, cuartadas. También nosotros vemos cómo los suministros están disminuyendo, desaparecen. So the biblical picture is falling into place. Así que el cuadro bíblico está tomando su lugar. And there's a lot of talk about this war. Y luego hay algo que se menciona más sobre esta guerra. And a lot of propaganda. Y el amor por propaganda. Let's just hear what they have to say. Ahora vamos a escuchar qué es lo que ellos tienen que decir. Europe could become the next battleground. It already is with Ukraine, but the war in Ukraine has proved to be a security nightmare for the EU. It has no option but to prepare for a wider conflict. America agrees with this assessment, so it will ramp up U.S. forces in Europe. The U.K. and Germany say they will contribute too. The result is this, a massive build-up on NATO's eastern flank. We re we've reaffirmed that our Article 5 commitment is sacred. And an attack on one is an attack on all, and we will defend every inch of NATO territory. Every inch of NATO territory. A total deployment of 5,000 troops. Next is the United Kingdom. It will host two squadrons of American F-35 fighters. The third location is Spain. Two American Navy destroyers will be moved there. Remember, Spain already has four American destroyers, so now it will have a total of six. America is deploying air defense systems too. They will be sent to Italy and Germany. But their biggest move will be in Poland. Here, the U.S. is planning a permanent military headquarters. The 5th Army Corps of the U.S. military will be stationed in Poland. This is a combat force. The focus here is on eight countries, Estonia, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, and Bulgaria. Now, NATO has a strong presence across this region. How many troops are we talking about? At least 324,000 soldiers, 3,24,000 soldiers. These are soldiers of the host country and allied nations, meaning these are NATO forces. Plus, 
their air defense equipment. So NATO now has some serious firepower on its eastern flank. It is a means to protect their own interests, that is, with the hands of Ukrainians and the Ukrainian people. NATO members and leading NATO countries simply want to assert themselves, further assert their role in the world, confirm the leadership of their hegemony in the trust sense of the word, their imperial ambitions. What would a Russian mirror deployment mean? More missiles, more warships, even nuclear weapons. Russia may have made the NATO stronger, but Putin will not shy away from sending a message. This conflict is only intensifying. I think the video speaks for itself. Yo creo que el video habla por sí mismo. So there are rumors of wars and wars. Así que hay rumores de guerra y hay guerras. And the mindset of humanity is being chan channeled. Y la mentalidad de la humanidad está siendo canalizada. And then there are the environmental factors which they collate to climate change. Y luego vamos a ver aspectos del ambiente que van a llevar a un cambio, a una crisis climática. And if we listen to the news, it sounds like a Matthew 24 report. Y cuando nosotros escuchamos las noticias, esto parece como un reporte de Mateo 24. Let's look at this compilation. Vamos a ver a esta compilación. Extreme heat waves and forest fires have plagued France, Italy, Spain, and Portugal for weeks. The UK has recorded temperatures over 40 degrees Celsius for the first time. And rivers on the continent are drying up. In the Netherlands and Germany, the river Rhine has dropped so low that houseboats have become stranded and commercial ships can't carry full loads anymore. Our final story is about climate change. Scientists have tried explaining it for years. They've given lectures, they've published papers, but none of it has really moved our world leaders. Maybe pictures will. What you're looking at is a reservoir in Spain, 84% empty. You can see the paddle boats and water slides abandoned nearby. Aquatic life driven to death. The reason? Climate change. Spain had its hottest July since 1961. Some parts of the Iberian Peninsula are at their driest in 1,200 years. Let that sink in. 1,200 years. Spain's medieval reservoirs, ruins of ancient villages, bathhouses and churches are facing the impact of climate change. The Iberian Peninsula is reeling under one of its driest seasons in 1,200 years putting further strain on Europe's largest network of dammed reservoirs. If this is not an emergency, I don't know what is. The pictures, the data, the testimonies, all of them hint at a climate emergency in Europe. It is not some distant threat anymore. It is very much here. And as we prepare to enter the winter season, more questions remain. Yes, the heat will disappear, but what climatic shock will winter behold? China says it will try to protect its grain harvest from intense drought by using chemicals to generate rain. The country is in the midst of a severe water shortage after its hottest and driest summer since the government began recording rainfall 61 years ago. But can China or anyone really change the weather? Firing rockets into the clouds and hoping for rain. These meteorology workers in China's Hubei province are participating in a three-month project, hoping to save this year's grain harvest. People around the world have been trying to seed clouds for decades. Well, is this real? Is it something that is repeated in history? ¿Será que esto es real? ¿Será es algo que se está repitiendo en la historia? They said that was the hottest season in Europe and England in history. Dice, esta es la, 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 es la estación más caliente en Europa y en Inglaterra en el curso de la historia. They say temperatures over 40 have never been recorded before. Ellos dicen, nunca hemos registrado temperaturas por encima de los 40 grados centígrados antes. But if you read the newspapers of just a few years ago, in 1970s. Pero si usted lee los periódicos de unos años atrás, por ejemplo, de los 70s. 
than we had exactly the same temperatures then as we have now. Vemos que tenían las mismas temperaturas en ese momento que ahora. And in, even in the 1700s, the droughts were much larger than they are today. Y de hecho, en los años 1700, las sequías eran de una duración más larga de las que vemos hoy día. So the media is creating a perception. Así que los medios de comunicación crean una percepción. And often this perception is contradicted by the facts. Y de hecho, algunas veces esta percepción está contradecida por los hechos. For example, they say the Great Barrier Reef will be destroyed by climate change. Por ejemplo, ellos dicen que la Gran Barrera Coralina va a ser destruida por el cambio climático. But the reverse is actually true. Pero lo contrario es realmente verdad. Let's listen. Vamos a escucharlo. Now you think that anyone who genuinely cares about the environment would be absolutely thrilled about the fact that two-thirds of the Great Barrier Reef have shown the largest amount of coral cover in 36 years. Surely they would be happy about this outcome after all the doom and gloom predictions of the reef dying. But no, the media is desperately looking for any reason to pre present this as bad news. They're even fact-checking memes, mocking the persistently wrong climate predictions we've all seen over the past 20 to 30 years. I retweeted this meme and posted it on Instagram with this simple question, have the climate catastrophists ever got a prediction right? And you would not believe what happened next. I got this absurd fact-check fact check inverted commas, claiming the meme appears to downplay the damage climate change can cause coral reefs by comparing two tweets. Of course, this activist article posing as a fact check did not have a byline. The cowards pushing this nonsense just want to scare the social media sites to not even allow any dissent, not even if it's a joke. So let's get a man who is an actual scientist and who puts his name to his work He's a marine physicist and author, Peter Ridd. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh, tell me, what's your reaction to the media reporting of the data from the official long-term monitoring program of the reef showing massive growth in coral cover? Well, that wasn't a fact check. That was a fact twist. And really all they said when you actually <laughs> read it is you've just got to believe the experts. The experts still say that the reef is doomed. Uh, and the reason that they sort of managed to get to was because now we've got too much this supposedly fast-growing corals that takes uh, five to ten years oh. to grow. And they sort of ignore the fact that they've been telling us we've had four massive bleaching events in the last six years and this is the, the sort of coral that's grown back, and that now, because we've got too much of this coral, we're now even more susceptible to the climate change like we've had in the last five or six years. So that, there's a sort of circular argument here that just doesn't work at all. Well, if we look at the models on which climate change is based... Si nosotros vemos el modelo en el cual se ha basado esto del cambio climático, these are the models, about 80 of them, that they use to tell people what the situation is. Aquí vemos un tipo de modelo en el cual ellos utilizan como ocho de ellos. Y utilizan esto para más o menos informar a la población cuál es la situación. These are all computer-generated models. Estos son modelos todos generados por computadora. But this blue line here at the bottom are the actual measurements. Pero esa línea azul que usted ve en eh, la parte baja del cuadro es actualmente las medidas. And the temperature here is no higher than it was back then. Y la temperatura aquí no está tan alta como eh, eh, parecía en años pasados. But the world insists upon this red graph that's based on models. Pero el mundo insiste en mostrarnos 
esta línea roja que está basada en sus modelos. So what is the agenda? Así que, ¿cuál es la agenda? So they say that COVID-19 ellos dicen acá que el COVID-19 was just the beginning. Climate trend crisis is going to be even greater. Era solamente el comienzo. La crisis del cambio climático va a ser aún mayor. In fact, they're warning against climate lockdowns. Ellos, de hecho, están advirtiendo sobre cuarentenas del clima. In France, for example, certain sports were banned because of the heat wave. Por ejemplo, en Francia, ciertas actividades deportivas fueron prohibidas debido a las olas de calor. So, lockdowns are becoming part and parcel of the agenda for our time. Así que, bueno, cuarentenas van a ser parte de eh, la agenda para nuestros tiempos. Let's switch to another theme. Let's look at political issues. Ahora, vamos a cambiar un momento a otro tema. Vamos a ver asuntos políticos. The World Economic Forum has created a partnership with the United Nations. Ahora, el Foro Económico Mundial ha creado una alianza con las Naciones Unidas. Let's just briefly look at the introduction to this. Y vamos a ver brevemente la introducción de este video. This afternoon, the Secretary General and Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum, will, sign a, will witness the signing of a memorandum of understanding on a strategic partnership between the UN and the World Economic Forum, which outlines areas of cooperation to deepen engagement between the two institutions and to jointly accelerate the implementation of the 2030 Agenda. Well, that is a very fascinating move. Ahora, ese es un movimiento realmente fascinante. So the World Economic Forum, which is a combination of all the industries in the world and the mega el corporations. El Foro Económico Mundial, que es una combinación de las mayores industrias del mundo y las mayores corporaciones del mundo. Go into partnership with the political entities of the world. Va entonces a entrar en alianza con las entidades políticas del mundo. That is, by definition, fascism. Y esto por definición es fascismo. Because the definition of fascism is. Porque la definición de fascismo es. Government. And industry. Gobierno. Y la industria. In partnership for community. En alianza para la comunidad. So it is a governmental economic model that is being implemented in the world. Así que este es un modelo gubernamental económico que se está implementando en el mundo. Now it's very interesting that the model of preference of the Jesuit order is fascism. Ahora es interesante porque el modelo que ha preferido eh, los jesuitas es precisamente el modelo del fascismo. So let's go a little bit deeper and just look at what is happening. Así que vamos a entrar un poquito más profundo en esto y vamos a ver qué es lo que está ocurriendo. And I have to say, um, when I mention our names like Mrs. Merkel. Um, even uh, Vladimir Putin and so on, they all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. But um, what we are very proud of now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, President of, Brazil, of uh, Argentina and so on, that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau and I would know that half of this cabinet, or even more half of uh, half of this cabinet, are for our uh, actually young global leaders of the world economy right. form. And that's true in Argentina. Too. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, that's true in Argentina as well. 
It's true in Argentina and uh, it's true in France now. Mm -hmm. I'm here with the president, with a young global leader, but... So basically what he is saying is that the governments of the world and the economic powers of the world have formed a union. That's fascism. Así que básicamente lo que él está diciendo es que los gobiernos del mundo y los poderes económicos del mundo están en unión. Eso es fascismo. Now it's basically talking about leaders that have a left leaning. Ahora él se refiere a líderes que están más bien del lado de la izquierda. But the same actually applies if they have a right leaning. Pero lo mismo ocurre con los de derecha. Let's have a look at what Donald Trump had to say to Klaus Schwab. Ahora vamos a ver qué es lo que Donald Trump tiene que decir sobre Klaus Schwab. Well, we're here meeting with world leaders, the biggest, uh, most important people in the world, and we're bringing back tremendous business in the United States, and they're all here to see. Uh, I'll be making a speech, and then we'll be leaving shortly. Uh, but I think it's very important. Uh, the other's just a hoax. It's the witch hunt that's been going on for years, and it's frankly, it's disgraceful. But uh, we look forward to being here. Uh, Klaus has done a fantastic job. And again, we're meeting with the big, biggest companies in the world, the biggest businesses of the world and world leaders, all for the benefit of the United States. We look forward to the meetings. What up, why not have, have witnesses with the president? to write on climate change, Mr. President? Well, I'm a big believer in uh, the environment. The environment to me is very important. Thank you. So basically, it doesn't matter whether they are from the right or whether they are from the left. The model is exactly the same. Así que básicamente no importa si son de izquierda, si son de derecha, el modelo es básicamente el mismo. Here's an article from the president about the president of South Africa. Aquí tenemos un artículo del presidente de Sudáfrica. Where they have agreed to sign those documents which give the World Health Organization authority over all health issues in this country. Donde ellos han firmado, el gobierno ha firmado documentos con la OMS, con la Organización Mundial de la Salud, para que ellos tengan autoridad sobre cualquier asunto de salud en este país. And most countries have signed this document. La mayoría de países ha firmado este documento. So, in a sense, they have sacrificed their authority. Así que, en un sentido, ellos han sacrificado su autoridad. What the world is doing is changing the entire system into a new system. Lo que están haciendo es cambiar el sistema por un nuevo sistema. We are moving towards a great reset. Nos estamos moviendo hacia un gran reseteo. So the old has to be removed and something new has to be put into its place. Así que lo antiguo debe ser quitado de lado y algo nuevo debe entonces ser implementado. And this is called build back better. Y esto es lo que se denomina como construir de vuelta, pero mejor. Let's listen to the powers that be. Ahora vamos a escuchar a los poderes hablando. Build back better. To build back better or whatever. And build back better. To build back better. Build back from this uh, global pandemic. Build back better. Build back better. Building back better. To build back better. Build it back better. And build it back better. Build back better. To build back Build back better. It's about building this country back better. Build back better. Building back better. Build back better. Some would say to build back, back better. We would say to really have a great reset. So basically what they've just said is to build back better is identical to the great reset. 
Así que lo que ellos han dicho prácticamente es que para construir nuevamente y mejor, esto significa un gran reseteo. So using climate change as an excuse. Así que usted dice que el cambio climático es una excusa. Let's destroy all the old industries based on fossil fuels. Vamos a destruir todas aquellas industrias que están basadas en hidrocarburos. And then we have to ask ourselves, can this set the stage for a catastrophe and a crisis in our world? Y nosotros entonces tenemos que preguntarnos, ¿será que esta situación va a preparar un escenario de catástrofe y de caos en nuestro mundo? Can this lead to a crisis such as never was? ¿Será que esto puede guiar a una crisis como nunca ha existido antes? Let's listen to the propaganda. Vamos a escuchar a la propaganda. From the main media and alternative media. Y, por supuesto, esta viene de los medios de comunicación principales y también de los medios alternativos. So what is Europe doing to stave off the crisis? It is slashing energy consumption. Germany has switched off street lights. France has banned illuminated billboards. Italy has extended the life of coal power plants. Spain has limited air conditioning at airports. Germany is undertaking a raft of measures. They include a ban on heating private swimming pools, a ban on heating at some public buildings, lowering the minimum office temperature to 19 degrees Celsius and switching off most street lights. Same story in France. In Italy, where elections are due in September, the authorities are treading carefully. Their energy savings plan includes steps like extending the life of coal plants, temporarily halting work at factories, and shortening heating hours at workplaces. In Spain, which is not as dependent on Russian energy supplies, the reserves are being safeguarded in case the war spills over. These four countries are not alone. They're joined by several others in reducing energy consumption like Switzerland, Finland, Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands, Austria, and Greece. Let me tell you about a small anomaly. Ahora vamos a hablar sobre una anomalía pequeña. In our country, we are going to collapse the coal-fired infrastructure. En nuestro país, la infraestructura que se maneja con carbón, va a colapsar. Is this about climate change? ¿Será que esto es algo sobre cambio, cambio climático? Then why are they transporting millions of tons of coal across the borders and shipping them to countries such as China? Entonces, ¿por qué ellos están llenando camiones de carbón cruzando las fronteras y llevando esto a China. So the world is ready for an environmental crisis. The world is ready for a new set of circumstances. Así que el mundo está listo para una crisis ambiental. El mundo está listo para un nuevo cambio de circunstancias. And the system will be based on a model of fascism. Y el sistema va a estar basado en un modelo fascista. So that's one group of end time criteria that are being fulfilled. Así que este es un grupo de criterios del tiempo del fin que están cumpliéndose. Let's just briefly look at moral decay. Ahora vamos a brevemente ver lo que ocurre con el decaimiento moral. Well, here's a law that has been passed that uh, stores may not separate toys by gender. Aquí, por ejemplo, tenemos esta noticia donde algunas tiendas por departamento no van a poder separar juguetes por géneros. Not only that. No solamente eso. Anything goes. Parents don't have to be male and female. 
Ahora los padres no tienen que ser un varón y una mujer, o masculino, femenino. You can have three dads. Usted puede tener tres papás. In some states it is quite legal to kill a baby even after birth. Incluso en algunos estados es legal el asesinar un bebé aún después de nacido. Not only that, we do not know what gender is anymore. De hecho, eh, no solamente esto, sino que ya no sabemos qué es un género. So we have to learn a new terminology because people don't know what a woman is. Así que nosotros tenemos que aprender una nueva terminología porque ya el mundo no sabe qué es una mujer. If you ask the judges and the politicians to define what a woman is, si usted le pregunta a los jueces y a los políticos qué es una mujer para que ellos lo definan, they will evade the question. Ellos van a evadir la pregunta. And what do they call a parent that gives birth these days? Y cómo ellos llaman a un a un padre o una madre que da eh, que puede dar a nacer un hijo. It's no longer a mother, it's a birthing parent. Ellos ya no lo llaman madre, esencialmente una persona que da luz. Let's look. Vamos a ver. But the other important financial question is if the birthing parent is able to travel and if they work for the right company and are seeking an abortion, more individuals we're seeing are going to need to rely on their employer, right, for that financial support to carry that out. Now, for example, Dick's Sporting Goods is now telling us they're promising $4,000 for any employee or family member on their insurance plan to access an abortion. And there's a long list of companies that are doing the same thing. You've got Levi's and Starbucks. Yelp, JP Morgan, and many others. But the point here is, Katie, is that these benefits are provided because these companies are willing to do it, not just because of their philosophy as a corporation, but because it makes financial sense for them. The real challenge is going to be for the smaller companies that can't afford to do this uh, and for the employees of those companies that are unable to get access that way. And so there's going to be a tale of two worlds. If you work for a Fortune 500 company in America today, Uh, you very well may get this type of health care uh, as a benefit. Smaller companies may not. I believe that eliminating the right of women to make decisions about when and whether to have children would have very damaging effects um, on the economy and would set women back decades. So basically what we are seeing is a total moral collapse. Así que lo que realmente estamos viendo es prácticamente un colapso total de la moralidad. God created them male and female. Dios los creó varón y mujer. All those boundaries are being eroded. Todas estas, todos estos límites se han erosionado. So it's exactly like it was in the days of Lot. Así que es exactamente como fue en los días de Lot. And all of the corporations are on board. Y todas las corporaciones están de acuerdo. How is it possible that they all have the same morality? Ahora, ¿cómo es posible que todos compartan la misma moralidad? And please remember that all of these corporations are in partnership with the Vatican. Y por favor recuerde, todas estas corporaciones están en alianza con el Vaticano. The other issue that the Bible mentions is ethnic clashes will be commonplace. Otro asunto que la Biblia menciona es que los conflictos étnicos van a ser comunes. So we've seen cities trashed by the Black Lives Matter movement. Así que nosotros hemos visto ciudades que han sido destrozadas por el movimiento Black Lives Matter o las vidas negras importan. And if we look at ethnic Unidos, conflicts throughout the world, y si, nos, y si nosotros vemos a conflictos étnicos alrededor del mundo, then we see that they occurred in the Balkans, in Rwanda, in Chechnya, in Iraq, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, India, Darfur. Israel, the West Bank, Gaza Strip, you name it. 
Bueno, vemos que estos conflictos han predominado en los Balcanes, en Ruanda, en Chechenia, en Irak, en Indonesia, en Sri Lanka, en India, en Darfur y también en Israel con los conflictos de la franja occidental con la franja de Gaza. Usted puede nombrar. And this is not even mentioning Africa, Australia, America. Y esto, por supuesto, no incluye eh, lugares en África o en las Américas o en Australia. A fulfillment of prophecy. Un cumplimiento profético. Now the other thing that must fall into place is the political prophetic picture must come to fruition. Ahora, otra cosa que debe cumplirse es que el cuadro político profético debe cumplirse. And we read about it in Revelation chapter 13. Y nosotros leemos sobre este en Apocalipsis capítulo 13. Let me sum it up for you. Y vamos a hacer un resumen para ustedes. The ustedes. first beast, which is Roman Catholicism. El versículo 3, que es el catolicismo romano. Must receive its power back that it had in the Middle Ages. Tiene que recibir de vuelta ese poder que perdió en la Edad Media. We see the media going to the Vatican. Nosotros vemos a los medios de comunicación yendo al Vaticano. We see the CEOs of the mega companies going to the Vatican. Vemos a los presidentes de mega compañías yendo al Vaticano. We see the politicians and the church leaders. Vemos a los políticos, a los líderes religiosos. So the wound has definitely been healed. Así que esa herida definitivamente está siendo sanada. And they all wondered after this political religious entity. Y todos estos se maravillan detrás de esta entidad política religiosa. Now, if we look up this word wondered in the concordance. Ahora, si nosotros buscamos esta palabra, maravillarse o se maravilló, en la concordancia, we find that it means to admire, admiration, to marvel at. Vemos que esta palabra significa el admirar, el maravillarse, el admirar. So how is this achieved? Así que, ¿cómo se alcanza esto? This can only be achieved by propaganda. By influencing the mind. Esto solamente puede ser alcanzado a través de propaganda, a través de la influencia que se tiene sobre la mente. Revelation chapter 17 tells us she sits on many waters. In other words, she's associated with all the nations. Apocalipsis 17 nos dice que esta bestia se sienta sobre muchas aguas. Es decir, ella tiene asociación con Todas las naciones. And her wound is healed. She has the power back. Y cuando es herida es sanada, ella tiene nuevamente su poder. Well, just look at the political leaders. Whether they are from the right, whether they are from the left, whether they are from the former communist countries, Germany, France, they all go to the same place, the Vatican. Y bueno, vamos a ver entonces imágenes con estos líderes políticos. No importa si son de la derecha, no importa si son de la izquierda, no importa si son eh, de, de, la, de la antigua Unión Soviética. Cada uno de estos, Alemania, Francia, van al Vaticano. And Klaus Schwab told us that all of these that we see over here, whether it is Angela Merkel or whether it is Macron or even Putin, they're part of the World Economic Forum. Y ya Klaus Schwab nos dijo, no importa si es Angela Merkel, no importa si es Macron, no importa si es Vladimir Putin. Cada uno de estos forman parte del Foro Económico Mundial. All right, let's have a look at the CEOs of the mega companies. Bueno, vamos a ver a los grandes presidentes de mega compañías. There is Tim Cook, CEO of Apple. Ahí vemos a Tim Cook, el presidente de la empresa Apple. Mark Zuckerman, founder of Facebook. Ahí tenemos también a Mark 
Zuckerberg, el fundador de Facebook. Kevin Systrom, CEO of Instagram. Tenemos allí a Kevin Systrom. What are they all doing at the Vatican? Y todos están en el Vaticano. Are they getting their marching orders? ¿Será que de allí ellos están recibiendo órdenes de marcha? Are they censoring and facts checking? ¿Será que ellos están allí censurando o comprobando los datos? Are they filtering what you are supposed to see and what you are not supposed to see? ¿Será que ellos están allí filtrando lo que tú debes ver o lo que no debes ver? What about the religious leaders, Kenneth Copeland, Rick Warren, or the head of the, the Lutheran Church? ¿Qué tal los líderes religiosos? Allí vemos a Kenneth Copeland, también a Rick Warren, o incluso al presidente de la Federación Luterana Mundial. Who is the leading figure in climate change today? Isn't it the Pope? ¿Quién es la figura central en el cambio climático? ¿No es acaso el Papa? Why does Elon Musk, Elon Musk have to go to the Pope? Ahora, ¿por qué será que una figura como Elon Musk tiene que ir al Papa? So do we see the political world and the economic world radiating towards the Vatican, expressing its mindset? Ahora, ¿será entonces que nosotros vemos en ese mundo político, profético, que ellos están irradiando esa mentalidad de el papado. And the religious prophetic picture? Ahora, ¿qué tal el cuadro profético religioso? God's plan was to unite all of humanity, says the Pope. El Papa dice que el plan de Dios era unir a toda la humanidad. They just signed the fraternity document at Kazakhstan this very month, September. Ellos, de hecho, firmaron en este mismo mes, en septiembre, un documento de fraternidad en Kazajastán. According to the Pope, all religious systems in the world are God-willed. Y, de hecho, de acuerdo al mismo Papa, todos los sistemas del de religiosos del mundo son de Dios. Even if it is through the permissive will of God. Aún si es permitido, a veces, a, aún cuando es permitido por la voluntad de Dios. And all of these roads lead to the same heaven. Y todos estos diferentes caminos nos llevan al mismo cielo. But the Bible says there's only one way. To go to heaven. Pero, la, pero la Biblia nos dice que solamente hay un camino para ir al cielo. But according to this new system, you may not preach the gospel to convince others that there is only one way. Pero de acuerdo a este sistema, usted no va a poder predicar que, eh, que existe solamente un camino que es a través del Evangelio. And according to the Catholic Church, Christian unity is almost complete. Y de acuerdo a la Iglesia Católica, la unidad cristiana está casi completa. Does Christianity mean that even union with paganism is perfectly in order? ¿Será que esa unión en el cristianismo incluye también la unión con el paganismo y que esto es algo permisible? ¿Está bien hacerlo? When the Pope this year went to Canada to ask forgiveness for the great excesses of its ministers. Bueno, este año el Papa visitó a Canadá. Esto con el propósito de pedir perdón por los excesos cometidos por sus ministros. He had no problem taking part in pagan rituals. Y ellos parecen no tener ningún problema en participar con ritos paganos. En ritos paganos. Let's just look at it. Así que vamos a echar un vistazo. Bless all those who will enter into this water and use it. Protect them in their daily journey to you and in their service to others and the care of all creation. Father, by the sin of the Holy Spirit King, the remembrance of our rebirth from water of the Spirit as we await new heavens and new earth.
Has paganism and Christianity so called merged? ¿Será que el paganismo y aquello que se hace llamar cristianismo se han unido? So if we all are brothers and sisters in union with God, así que si nosotros somos hermanos en Dios, and we may not proselytize, we may not preach the gospel. To convert y no people. podemos y no podemos proselitar, no podemos predicar el evangelio para la conversión de personas. Then what remains? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que queda? Let's see. Vamos a ver. Al rezar a Dios siguiendo a Jesús, nos unimos como hermanos con los que rezan siguiendo otras culturas, otras tradiciones. Y otras creencias. Somos hermanos que oramos. La fraternidad nos lleva a abrirnos al Padre de todos y a ver en el otro un hermano, una hermana, para compartir la vida, para sostenerse mutuamente, para amar, para conocer. La Iglesia valora la acción de Dios y en las demás religiones, sin olvidar que para nosotros cristianos la fuente de la dignidad humana y de la fraternidad está en el Evangelio de Jesucristo. Los creyentes debemos volver a nuestras fuentes y concentrarnos en lo que es esencial, lo que es esencial de nuestra fe, la adoración a Dios y el amor al prójimo. Recemos para que el Señor nos dé la gracia de vivir en plena fraternidad con los hermanos y hermanas de otra religión y no andar peleando, y rezando unos por otros, abriéndonos a todos. Well, my brothers and sisters, is there anything wrong with helping humanity? Bueno, mis queridos hermanos, hermanas, ¿será que hay algo malo en ayudar a la humanidad? No, but there's nothing wrong with it. But we have reduced the gospel to a social gospel. No, no hay nada malo en ello. Pero nosotros hemos reducido el evangelio en un evangelio social. Because if I tell the Jew and if I tell the Muslim that there's no other way to be saved than through Jesus Christ, porque si yo le digo al judío y le digo al, musul al musulmán que no hay otro camino para ser salvo sino a través de Jesucristo, Then I'm interfering with their creeds. entonces yo voy a estar interfiriendo con sus credos. And therefore it is an act of hate. Y eso es entonces un acto odioso. No, we need to be one big happy family. No, nosotros tenemos que ser una familia grande y feliz. So whether we accept Christ or do not accept him, we belong to the same Abrahamic family. Así que bien sea que nosotros aceptemos o no a Cristo, vamos a ser parte de esa gran familia abrahámica. On the other hand, Crooks says Ahora, por otro lado, Crooks nos dice that Biden needs the church to heal his country. Que Biden va a necesitar a, la, a su iglesia para poder sanar a los Estados Unidos. That means it needs the church at the Vatican. Es decir, él necesita la iglesia en el Vaticano. Because Biden is a Roman Catholic. Porque Biden es un católico romano. The final thing that must come into fruition is that the legislation associated with buying and selling must be in place. 
Ahora, lo último que tiene que también que implementarse tiene que ver con la legislación asociada con la compra y venta y la implementación de la marca de la bestia. How far down the line are we? Ahora, ¿qué tan lejos estamos en este aspecto? Let's look. Vamos a ver. What underpins a world order is always the financial system. And what we're seeing in the world today, I think, is we are on the brink of a dramatic change where we are about to, and I'll say this boldly, we're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting and introduce a new one. And the new one, the new accounting, is what we call blockchain. It means digital. It means having a almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, mm -hmm. which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. It also raises huge dangers in terms of the balance of power between states and citizens. In my opinion, we're going to need a digital constitution of human rights if we're going to have digital money. Uh, but also, this new money will be sovereign in nature. Most people think that digital money is crypto and private, but uh, what I see are superpowers introducing digital currency. The Chinese were the first. The U.S. is on the brink, I think, of moving in the same direction. The Europeans have committed to that as well. And the question is, will that new system of digital money and digital accounting accommodate the competing needs of the citizens of all these locations so that every human being has a chance to have a better life? Because that's the only measure of whether a world order really serves. So now is the time to think through how will we solve this? Mm. And that will be part of the answer of what will the new order work like. Let's have a look at this video as well before we discuss it. Y antes de discutir, vamos a ver nuestro siguiente video. Very soon people will walk around with biometric sensors on or even inside their bodies and will allow uh, Google or Facebook or the Chinese government or whoever to constantly monitor what's happening inside my body. The whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. We have the technology to hack human beings on a massive scale. New surveillance technologies that are now deployed just to deal with this coronavirus uh, outbreak, when it's over, some governments may say, yes, but there is a second wave of corona coming, so we have to be prepared. And there is Ebola, and there is also regular flu. Why not protect people against that too with this new surveillance system? So the tendency would be to prolong it uh, indefinitely. Also, it's the moment when surveillance goes really under the skin Governments are now not, not just interested in where we go and who we meet, but even in what's happening inside our bodies. So the technology is in place to enforce every transaction in buying and selling. Así que la tecnología está presente para así poder eh, manipular cualquier transacción que tenga que ver con la compra y con la venta. And if you do not adhere to their philosophy, you will be prevented from buying and selling. Y si usted no se adhiere a su filosofía, entonces usted será entonces cortado de, de comprar y de vender. Here already the World Economic Forum is speaking about global censorship using AI, artificial intelligence. Aquí, por ejemplo, ya el Foro Económico Mundial habla de una censura global utilizando inteligencia artificial. Let's have a look what's happening in Europe. Vamos a ver qué está ocurriendo en Europa. Is the European Union on its way to becoming a surveillance society like China? The European Digital Identity. This cheery introduction to the EU's upcoming digital identity program tells citizens that it will make their lives easier while keeping them safer online. It's already under attack in the European Parliament as something that would be ripe for government abuse. 
One of its chief critics, European Parliament member Christian Turris, was born in communist Romania and has long been warning of the EU's so-called Chinification. Clearly we are witnessing right now the Chinification of Europe because we see what is happening in China right now with the social credit score where the government is monitoring and uh, surveilling all the people from the beginning to end. This is what makes the difference between a tyranny and democracy. When you know everything about what your government does, that's democracy. When the government knows everything about you, that is tyranny. Now, the following video is very, very interesting because it shows that el siguiente video es muy, pero muy interesante. Because it shows that it is not only I and people with like mind as I that realize these things. Porque no es solamente yo, personas como yo, que tienen la misma mentalidad, quienes están dando cuenta de esto. The new system is total control. El nuevo sistema es control total. In fact, it is nothing short of slavery. De hecho, no está muy lejos de la esclavitud. Let's listen to what Malcolm Roberts, a politician in Australia, has to say to his colleagues. Ahora vamos a ver qué es lo que tiene que decir Malcolm Roberts. Él es un político de Australia y tiene este mensaje para sus colegas. Billionaire globalist corporations will own everything. Homes, factories, farms, cars, furniture. And everyday citizens will rent what they need. If their social credit score allows. The plan of the Great Reset is that you will die with nothing. To pull off this evil plan, Klaus Schwab's World Economic Forum will need to take more than just material possessions from Australians. Senators in this very chamber today who support the Great Reset threaten our privacy, freedom and dignity. Yes, they're in this Senate chamber. Very soon, government will tell our farmers what they can grow and punish Australian consumers if they buy the wrong things. This has already started with frightening reforms scheduled for Australian agriculture. The dream of micromanaging individual carbon emissions hinges on the soon-to-be-passed so-called Trusted Digital Identity Bill. It is only through the relentless digital stalking of citizens that the Liberal Nationals government can micromanage purchasing choices. Australian banks have already shown a keen interest in the Trusted Digital Identity Bill, saying it will, quote, allow them to create a rich view of their customers. These are the same banks that already list climate risk as a means to deny loans. Very interesting is that we see climate change is always in the mix. Ahora, algo interesante. Siempre vemos que el cambio climático está mezclado. It is not just Klaus Schwab. Así que no es solamente Klaus Schwab. Big business is in harmony with Rome. Los grandes negocios están en armonía con Roma. They are in partnership with the Pope. Ellos están en alianza con el papado. And this Pope is quite happy to have wiretapping and listening to individual conversations take place under his rulership. Y este Papa está bastante tranquilo, bastante contento de incluso eh, poner escuchas telefónicas para poder así rastrear conversaciones bajo su propio techo. They can enforce their dogmas at any time. Ellos pueden enforzar sus tinieblas en cualquier momento. In Revelation chapter 18, we read en Apocalipsis 18 nosotros leemos that they deceive the nations through their sorceries que ellos engañan a las naciones a través de sus hechicerías. And that word sorcery is pharmakia. Y esa palabra hechicería viene de farmaquía. It's important that even the medical corporations are under the control of the Vatican. 
Y eso es importante porque aún las corporaciones médicas están bajo el control del Vaticano. And here is the Jesuit Journal America. Y aquí tenemos al Jesuita América. Which is telling the world que le está diciendo el mundo that the world must implement the papal model of climate change. Que el mundo debe implementar el modelo papal de cambio climático. Namely, laudato si. E esto quiere decir el documento laudato si. Here it is in their document, laudato si. Y aquí tenemos el documento, el laudato si. They, that means that they want Sunday legislation associated with climate change. En otras palabras, ellos quieren la legislación dominical asociado con el cambio climático. And here are the political nations. Poland says no more shopping on Sunday. It's for prayer. Y aquí tenemos a las naciones. Aquí, por ejemplo, vemos a Polonia. Polonia ha dicho no se, y se va de compras en domingo. Es para oración. The churches want climate Sunday. Las iglesias quieren el domingo climático. Pope Francis says he wants to save the creation and Sunday is one of the means whereby he wants to do it. El Papa Francisco dice que él quiere salvar a la creación y el día de descanso en domingo debe ser entonces uno de los medios para alcanzarlo. So will the world adopt the mark of ecclesiastical power of Rome? ¿Será que entonces el mundo va a aceptar esa marca eclesiástica de Roma? Does it have the means to implement it and enforce it? ¿Será que tiene los medios para implementarla y para reforzarla? So my question to you tonight is, or today is, Entonces, mi pregunta para ustedes hoy es la siguiente. Is everything in place as the Bible predicted? ¿Será que todo está en lugar como la Biblia lo ha predicho? And if the answer is yes, y si la respuesta es sí, then according to Luke chapter 21 verse 28, entonces, de acuerdo a Lucas, capítulo 21, versículo 28, When these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Cuando estas cosas comienzan a suceder, erguíos, y levantad vuestras cabezas, porque vuestra redención está cerca. I would make an appeal to all of you. Yo quiero hacer un llamado a cada uno de ustedes. When it comes to choosing between this earthly system and its laws and creeds, en lo que respecta a la elección de los sistemas de este mundo, sus leyes, sus credos, or the government of God based on its law, his law, the Ten Commandments, o el gobierno de Dios, basado en su ley, en los diez mandamientos. Including the Sabbath as the sign of the acknowledgement of His authority. Incluyendo eh, la, la aceptación del día de reposo como una señal de su autoridad. And that requires a choice. Esto requiere una elección. And God requires us to make that choice individually. Y Dios pide que nosotros hagamos esa elección individualmente. My prayer is that you will make the right choice based on the Bible and your conscience. Mi oración es que usted pueda hacer esa elección basado en la Biblia y en su conciencia. Let's pray. Vamos a orar. Heavenly Father, the world is at the precipice. Padre Celestial, el mundo está al borde del precipicio. All the signs have been fulfilled. Todas las señales se están cumpliendo. They are just waiting final implementation. Solamente se espera la implementación final. And we are all faced with a choice. Y todos nosotros 
Nos quedamos con, para hacer una elección. Help us to make the right one is my prayer in Jesus name. Y ayúdenos, Señor, a tomar la elección correcta. Es mi oración en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amén.